I love it. That was good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> I am too. <laughs>
the less amount of cards you'll get through, and I know you're competitive. I'm very competitive, that's why I'm like, uh, exactly. You are the reader board. You are the leaderboard. You want to be like up there, right? So, well, what's it like? How many do I need? Like, where am I? Where am I, I headed? I feel like we've seen 16, 20, that kind of. Like, you want to? You want to really go for it? Business. Let's make sure that you uh, shuffle and feel that the cards are fair. Uh, I can't shuffle. This is this is the real test. <laughs> Boom. Okay, you're happy with that, Jonathan? I can we have? A, 60 seconds on the timer. Ready, go. Sour candy or sweet? Sour. Grape flavor, yay or nay? Nay. Song that is currently stuck in your head? Oh, can't stop feeling. Dream dinner guest? Oprah. One word you wish you could take away from the English language? Uh, holla. <laughs> what is your favorite word? <laughs> A crap. <laughs> Fictional place you'd like to visit? Uh, Hogwarts. Early bird or night owl? Early bird. Last person you texted? Nicole. Which would you rather add to your life, time or value? Value. Binge watch or watch weekly? Binge watch. Coffee or tea? Coffee. First record you bought with your own money? Uh, Cisco. Would you rather fly or talk to animals? Uh, fly. Go, go to cocktail? Uh, margarita. Snapchat, has a long life or is a lost cause? Lost. Okay, number one guilty pleasure? Uh, wine. If you could have a superpower, what would it be? Uh, see through walls. I love it. Yes. Oh. Oh. I love it. That was good. Oh. 18. Oh. Wow. 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 So good. Well, nicely done. That was fun. Thank you. Um, now let's get into um, the entrepreneurial piece of your business. And, and I know that people, as well as myself, would love to learn. Um, what is the best advice that you have gotten along the way? Uh, the best advice that I can say that I've gotten along the way is probably to not take no for an answer. Um, mostly because my no, someone else's no is not my no. So just because it doesn't work for someone else doesn't necessarily mean that that's going to be my experience. So the no's are for other people, they're not for me. If, I, if there's something that I need to go after in life, then I need to go after it. And it's no one else's, if that's no one else's challenge but my own. Right, that's great. What about on the flip side, the worst advice that you've gotten along the way? You know what, my worst advice that I've ever gotten is to quit while I was ahead. Because there's no way to know exactly what, some there's, you know, especially in business, it's a roller coaster. Yeah. So, just because you're ahead right now doesn't mean that you can't get further just because you had a setback. Like, okay. today is gonna be great and then tomorrow's not so great. Maybe it'll be a few months where it's not that great. And then, I, just because I was ahead a few months ago doesn't mean that I can't put in more and excel past where I was, you know, at that point. What does success look like for you? <sighs> for me, success, um, so I, I think I will know that I'm successful when, you, when, I, when I can walk into a room and people know who I am before I've gotten there. Like I don't have to introduce myself anymore. That's when I'll know that I've made it. Has there ever been a moment in your career where you felt like walking away? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> About six months ago, funny enough, um, I, at that point I was I was already, the app had been live and I had already established the business for two, it was, yeah, two years. And I, I, it, I felt like I couldn't put a, a more energy into it. Like I felt drained, I felt like it wasn't getting anywhere. And I sat down to dinner with one of my girlfriends and she, and it was the, it was the day after I filled out the letter of um, disillusion. And she said, I told her, I was like, well, I'm, tomorrow's probably the day I'm gonna just give it in. And she said, she was like, but what's the, uh, what are the odds that you haven't actually put in the amount of work that you actually could have? And I was like, ooh, how dare you be right? <laughs> <laughs> so I promised her that I would give it another year and actually hustle. Yeah. And it's been six months and it's been an incredible return on the amount of things that I've put in. That's amazing. Like, it's been great. What is that one thing that you still need to learn? Um, I, in the, in the past six months, 
I've been working on asking for help. So that's one of my biggest things. Like I'm really big on taking care of myself, doing things on my own, because then I can, I can, I, I guess I was say, I was saying to myself that I don't need other people to be successful, but that's not true. You need people, you need, you need a team. You need people to help you to attain goals, like real goals. So my biggest thing that I've, we've been working on and that I'm looking forward to improving is asking for help knowing when I that's not my strong suit get someone in there that can that can do that role right it, it's important to know what you don't know and not be afraid to ask yeah it doesn't make right. you weak no right. it makes you smart actually and, and um with, with with that what is um something that you want people to learn from you um, I want, I would love for people to learn from me um, that you, you have actually no idea what you're capable of because like I said, this paper was never, it was never in my, you know, goals. It was never a thing prior to three years ago. And, but once it spoke to me and it, you know, a lot of times in life things speak to you and, but you don't really answer. Mm -hmm. And if you can learn anything from me is that sometimes when you know, life speaks to you. You, you, your responsibility is to answer it, to, to match the call. So that's what I would like anybody to just listen, open up. I like that. That's fantastic. Um, what's next for you? Ah, so um, my next goal for the app itself is I'm pitching um, investors. We're, you know, I'm getting, uh, getting in front of investors and letting them know about the product getting more um, property managers and brokers to understand the app, you know, like this functionality and how it benefits them as well as, um, you know, the people that rent and the people that live in the property. It's a, it's a community. So my, my goal, the, what's next for me in the next six months, because now I'm working at six months, <laughs> six month increments, is to get, to get more people familiar with the app and, you know, I'm putting it into the universe, seed funded in the next yeah. six months. That's amazing. Yeah. I love that. So what can people do today to help? Because I imagine people are really interested in this. There is an Indiegogo um, for Haber that so we're raising funds to get through this next level of development. Um, and hopefully we'll have a new product out to you guys before the end of the year. That would be great. Thank you. Your visit today was certainly celebrated by everyone in our tribe on social. And I appreciate you sharing your visit in advance too because we had a lot of questions come in. I have enthusiasm. We, yes, and, and I love it. People are just really interested in you and what you're doing and that's just so fantastic. Um, we have a few questions from our tribe. Okay. So Smoonzilla asked a question. Um, what's been one of your most impactful learning lessons since starting Haber? The most impactful thing that I learned was to trust myself and to not, you know, this, everything is not going to be the end of the world. Like I can make, as long as I check off these boxes today, then I can make it through tomorrow. Then so learning myself was the biggest challenge and that's yeah. been the, the biggest impact on me. That's awesome. Um, this one's from Nicole. Um, what is your long-term vision for Haber? Ooh, I actually, this, I think about this all the time. My long-term vision is that Haber is going to be pretty much, it's going to become a verb. Like no one is going to be moving into new places without getting that in that information. So it's going to be, yeah, I found a place, but when I went on Haber there, you know, it didn't have great reviews or, or when I Habered when it. I Habered it it wasn't, right? yeah, it, it, it just wasn't, it didn't live up to what, you know, they were selling. Or on the flip side, gosh, I didn't think I really liked it or it was for me, but then when I went into, uh, into Haber, yeah. I learned it was and I've never been happier in my life. Never been happier. Right. It's totally worth it. That's right. You're, you're impacting people's lives. That's the goal. And, and to your point earlier, you know, it's, it's your place of where you live, mm -hmm. right? It's yeah. really important. To, yeah. I mean, if you care about like two hours at a restaurant, and you know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks, whatever your dining budget is, where you spend time in your home, the, the hours are immeasurable and the money yeah. that you put into that is immeasurable compared, so. And you're, you're asleep <laughs> at yeah. home. You're like really vulnerable. You should yeah. probably yeah. be super comfortable where you are. Absolutely. 
Well, this has been such a fantastic conversation. Hello. We've had so much fun talking to you and I love what you're doing. Thank you. But you're welcome. Um, and I know that you are competitive as we saw with Hustle Time mm -hmm. and you, um, you know, just getting through like 18 questions. I, I, have, I have one more challenge for you. This is around um, giving some advice to one of our newer GoDaddy employees named Noodle. Noodle is a 10 year old pug. Oh my God. Hello. And. Oh my God. Oh, Emma. Where are you going, so he'll bud? Do it. He'll do it. There you yep. go. You so, going? Noodle is such a lovable neighbor. Oh, he's such a lovable neighbor, but Noodle barks mm -hmm. a lot. Noodle can get loud. What advice do you have? For folks who are a lovable neighbor but tend to be rowdy, I mean, they certainly wouldn't want to have bad reviews on Haber, right? What advice no, do you have for somebody this, like Noodle? Noodle, we're gonna have to have a conversation about <laughs> your your tendencies. Can we at least like have like a time, like after 10 p.m. No bar no barking. That's like Zen time. <laughs> How, can we work a deal? Or maybe we give you like a specific time in, in the middle of the day for you to hang out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like Something that. like that. 10 p.m. is kind of that sweet spot. Yeah. It's don't don't run the vacuum noodle. Exactly. Don't bark. Yeah. Don't decide you... to hang a picture no. of your owner. Oh, God. Right? Although that is around the time where I want a vacuum. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you everybody for watching. You. If you loved School of Hustle, follow us across social. We have these coming every week with more fabulous entrepreneurs, lessons and fun to be had. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.